In 1929, Miro painted four canvases known as the imaginary portraits. The portrait of Queen Louise of Prussia starts out from advertisements showing a diesel engine and the collar of a shirt. The solidity of the machine gives way to the light form of the figure, which seems to float in an empty room. The portrait of a lady in 1820 has its inspiration in a work by the English painter John Constable. The preliminary sketches change from an initial realism to a great expressive freedom. The portrait of Mistress Mills, in 1750, sets out from a photograph reproducing the work by the English painter George Engelhart. In the sketches, the figure gradually moves away from the original model. La Fornarina is the last of the imaginary portraits. The model was the lover of the Italian Renaissance artist Raphael. Two portrayals of this woman are attributed to him, one nude and the other clothed. Shortly before painting La Fornarina, Miró sent his friend Sebastián Gasque a postcard which may have a connection with it. The preliminary sketches reveal different stages in its creation. In some, the right arm is shown bent, as in Raphael's paintings. In others, the figure's breasts are on view, as in the postcard. With La Fornarina, Miro reached the culminating synthesis of the imaginary portraits. <laughs>